We're here with Hugo Cuevas Mor, the, the director of More World Consulting. Hi, Hugo. How are you? Fine. How are you, Nicole? I'm very good. Thank you. We just have a few questions for you about the money transfers industry, starting with what do you see as the future of the industry? I think we have a very exciting future ahead of us. Uh, the industry is changing. Uh, there is uh, new uh, players in the field. There is uh, new technology tools that the industry can use. Um, there are very innovative services. There are new corridors uh, that are starting to open up. Uh, this industry, which from the United States was mostly uh, Latin American, Hispanic market, is opening to, to Asia. India is a huge market. Uh, that is changing, the Caribbean. So I, I think it's, it's very exciting what is happening. Now, how the companies right now, the traditional companies are going to, to change, that's, that's the issue. The issue is how they are going to transform because they, they have to or else they're not going to be here in the short term. So it, it, I think it's, it's, it's pretty exciting what is going to happen. We don't know what is going to happen. I can't say it, but it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very healthy industry. Uh, we just come up from, come, coming from a crisis, but, uh, but I think it's, uh, it, we're looking, the, the, the future is looking brighter, I think. So other than these necessary changes that you say that many companies need to take, do you see any other major challenges that the industry faces as a whole? Well, yes, there are uh, regulatory uh, challenges. Uh, regulation has to change. Uh, how is it going to change? That's an issue. Uh, because, of course, there's more threats like at, uh, you know, terrorism and money laundering is still an issue. Uh, in, in, but how these new technologies are going to require to be regulated, that, that's a big challenge. I think that's one. The other one is always been and is continued to be the relationship between the money transmitter companies and the banks. I mean, some banks have gotten into the, into the industry, some have gotten out. Uh, but that relationship between the, the industry and the banking system, that's also another challenge, I think. Well, hopefully the industry can face these challenges and hopefully this conference can help you know, people start thinking about that. Uh, how do you feel that the conference is going so far? Well, <laughs> as uh, the organizer of this conference, I, I feel very happy. Uh, the response has been tremendous. I think we were able to change also. I mean, we have to change as a conference because from a conference being a very uh, in tune with only the money transfer and the remittance companies, we have new companies coming, uh, providers of new services. Most of these uh, money transfer companies need to create new products. They have a very good market there but they need to innovate. And so now with uh, cell phone top up, with micro insurance, with a number of different products that they can offer their clients, these companies are coming here to offer the industry new ways of looking at things. And that's, that's pretty exciting. What other exciting things can we expect at future conferences? Well, we have a challenge to um, for the, our biggest challenge is the conference that we're going to have in LA in April. Uh, the IMTC West is going to be our first conference uh, in the spring. And it's a challenge because it's both the Hispanic market and the Asian market. So it's going to be a, a, a very mixed culturally uh, uh, conference. And that's a, that's a challenge, but uh, I think, uh, I mean, we're geared to that and we just hope that it's uh, as successful as this one. Well, that's great to hear. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. And we're all very excited that the IMTC to be venturing into the West. Thank you.